Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. We're here with our first bat review today. My name is Ashley. And I'm Anthony. And we're here to just start off our bat review channel, A&A. A&A &A bat reviews. So today we have the Monster M2 Torch. This is the EHP edition. Uh, it's a 4500 stiff handle. All of these black and pink, black and blue, black and green editions from EHP are all the 4500 super stiff handle. I'm excited. We've put about 100 cuts on the bat since we've gotten it just to kind of get a feel for it. Uh, now that we actually, I've never swung a 4500 handle before, so this is my first time doing that. Shout out to Jeff Eshelman with the EHP and of course Carl with Monster Athletics. So we're going to get into this. It's going to give you a guys and gals perspective. So let's get to it. All right, we're here. Caroline Parks and Rec League, 3.30, all the way around. It is a beautiful Virginia day, 80 degrees, about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Ready? Yeah. Already trying to kill me. Already. Already. Sorry, right, we'll cut that one out. Yeah, we will. There you go. Should preface in there what our size and weight is. That was nice. Still exactly where they're gonna pull. Monster M2 Torch hitting evil BP 52 ball 330 all the way around. Love the clack sound of the monster torch. Hear that? Pop. Heard that. Look at that knuckleball. Damn. There you go. That's a good shot. 
up. Yeah, felt good. Layers one, layers two, down. So you did. All right, guys, we're back. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it because this is our first bat review. Um, what I thought about the bat. I used to game an M2 Torch, and for my background, honestly, I'm in my 30s now. I haven't played any type of baseball since my teen years. This is my first real season of softball, if you want to call it real. I'm purely ASA, purely recreational. That's all we have here. We're not travel ball players. We are actual average players. Uh, if you can hit the barrel and you hit the sweet spot, you know it. And if you miss it, you also know it. It's It doesn't have too bad of feedback. I, I'm not used to this super stiff handle, but it felt pretty good overall when I did barrel it up. Uh, like I said, for someone who doesn't have the best bat control or bat speed like me, you know, I'm only five foot seven, I'm 185 pounds. I'm not some six foot five, really long armed, you know, pro hitter. I don't claim to be, but for me, the sweet spot, I mean, it's not as big as some other bats that I know are out there. So on a, rec a recreational level, I still think this is a great bat. The distance so far, I had no issues hitting it 300 feet. Uh, for her, I think she could hit it 200 with no issues. But uh, what do you think of the bat? Um, I also had an M2. This would be my second year in a recreational slow pitch. I'm still trying to work on my mechanics to get away from my fast pitch background. Um, so I still don't have the best bat control or bat speed yet, uh, but just to preface, I'm 5'2 and around 115 pounds, so I'm not disappointed being able to hit around 200 feet, and um, the stiff handle, yeah, it was definitely different, but I liked it. You can definitely hear the clack when you hit the sweet spot, um, so if you can make contact, it's great. Also, miss hitting, you'll, you'll feel the feedback some you definitely know when you don't hit the sweet spot 
but um, even for mishits, it's still not bad. So overall, I think it's a great bat, especially for us average folks. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Comment down below what bat you'd like to see us try next. Uh, try and keep it ASA. Like I said, we don't have you trip around here and let us know. Feel free to subscribe. We're going to be coming out with a lot more videos and hopefully we'll be able to get some traction to, to do more and, and put out there more for the average player. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks.